Hello children, I'm Archit from Spark and I'm a volunteer for the Come Read With Me program by Reading Stars India. How are you all? I hope you're all safe at home. Welcome to this reading session. Today, I'm going to read a very interesting story out to you. It is called Ka Ka Saurus and it is written by Shalini Srinivasan. The illustrator is Prabha Malya. The book is published by Pratham Books and I'll be reading out the story to you from the Story Weaver online platform. Before we start with the story, I would like to ask you a question. Who do you think is Kaka Saurus here? From the picture, what do you think it can be? Yes, you're right. It is a humble crow that we see every day. Raji was sitting peacefully under a tree, reading a book and eating a bhaji, when a crow walked up to her. Hi Kaka, Raji said. Raji opened her mouth to take a bite of the bhaji. The crow flew up, grabbed the bhaji and flew away. As you can see from the pictures, the crow stole her food. Raji la jumped up, leapt over the compound wall and started running down the road. Give that back, you useless, food-stealing, peanut-brained crow, Raji shouted. As you can see from the picture here, she begins chasing the crow. And now from these photos, you can observe that the crow is evolving backwards. The crow was flying slowly. Its body was getting bigger and heavier. Worse, its wings were getting smaller. I'll get you soon, Raji said. This is what you can see from the photos here. Slowly and slowly, it's becoming larger and its wings are becoming smaller. Salim came cycling down the road. The tired crow dropped from the sky and fell on Salim and his cycle. Crash! Raji ran up to them. Salim was lying on the ground with his cycle. There was a weird creature on his head, flapping wildly. It was large and strong and it had teeth. It bit Salim hard. Chomp! Ah! screamed Salim. Your crow is eating me. You can see from the photo here that the crow does not seem like the crow you might see every day. It's, grow it's grown much larger, it has teeth and its wings are definitely smaller now. That's not my crow, Raji said. Actually, it's not a crow at all. They looked at the not crow. You're right, that's a dinosaur, yelled Salim. You can see here that the crow does not resemble the crow anymore at all. In fact, it looks more like a dinosaur now. The crow dinosaur flapped and ran towards the bazaar. What if it bites more people? asked Raji. We should stop it, Salim replied. The crow dinosaur stomped through the bazaar, yelling ka kra and knocking everyone over. You can see here that this man is scared and he's hiding behind whatever he is selling, which looks to be flowers. And here too, the banana vendor, is, his cart has been toppled over by the dinosaur. The same with the other vendors here as well. Only Professor Auntie watched it with wonder. Is that? Am I losing my mind? Could it be a real live theropod? You can see again from the photo that everyone in the marketplace is really really scared of the dinosaur. And that's why they're hiding behind it. Only, however, the scientist Professor Aunty is looking at it in wonder and excitement. Raji and Salim helped Professor Aunty up. Professor Aunty, have you seen? asked Raji and Salim. She said, A bird dinosaur? Yes, I have. Where did you get that creature? she said. They're supposed to be extinct. I've been studying them all my life, and all I've seen are old bones. You can see now that Raji and Salim helped up Professor Auntie and they start speaking with her. 
The ex crow headed out of the bazaar. Raji and Salim and Professor Aunty followed it. Raji ran extra fast and threw herself at it. Here they have called it the ex crow because as you saw, the crow did not it doesn't look like a crow anymore. It looks more like a dinosaur. You can see again how Raji is throwing herself at the dinosaur to try and stop it. And again here she has fallen with the dinosaur and she's got it. Got you. Raji held the crow dinosaur close. Salim sat down and said, "It's turning into a T-Rex." They are. Ah, the same. Hum, uh, family, panted Professor Aunty. Birds and dinosaurs, I mean. It's evolving backwards. A lizard ran by and the dinosaur snapped at it. "Yuck, gross, cannibal!" shouted Raji. "It's like if I ate one of my cousins," said Salim. "No, it isn't," Professor Aunty said. "Birds are descended from dinosaurs, so they're fairly close to crocodiles, but lizards are an entirely different kind of reptile." So, Raji assumed that the lizard was and this was the same family as the dinosaur, and that's why she called it a cannibal initially. But then Professor Aunty explained that it in in fact is not of the same family and is pretty different from a normal lizard. The crow dinosaur curled on the ground and made an unhappy noise. Cra cra. I think it's sad that it can no longer fly," said Salim. Raji patted its snout kindly. You can see now that the dinosaur seems very sad that it cannot fly anymore, like it could when it was a crow. They went to Professor Aunty's house. On the table, there was a plate of budgies. Mmm, Raji said. "Cra!" said the dinosaur. It stretched as tall as Professor Aunty, snatched the entire plate, crunched the budgies, and its teeth. You can see how quickly its mood changes when it sees the budgies. It's very interested and very excited to eat the budgies. Then it made a loud burp. and stuck it stuck all its teeth out in a huge happy grin ka raji and salim exchanged a grin and said together ka ka saurus rex you can see here how they're both very happy at the name they've given the dinosaur and it too is very happy because of what it just ate birds are descended from a family of dinosaurs called theropods which is what professor aunty accurately managed to describe the ex crow as they are often called living dinosaurs apart from a few differences birds and dinosaurs are really very similar you can see however the differences here birds have shorter tail bones whereas dinosaurs have long tails birds have long smooth feathers for flying scales on their feet and sometimes necks The dinosaurs however had scales and short fuzzy feathers. Birds have beaks but no teeth. Dinosaurs however had snouts and lots of teeth. Birds have large wings. Dinosaurs however had small wings and were incapable of flight. Birds also have light hollow bones, but the dinosaurs have heavier bones. Make a bird saw Copy the bones on the previous page onto your notebook. Cut them out with a pair of scissors and put them together. You can use the bones to make either a dinosaur or a bird or both. You can copy all of these pictures onto your notebook and try the same activity. And so we have come to the end of the story. Did you like it? What did you think of it? Do tell your mother, brother, sister or friend all about the story and what you thought about it. Before we end however, I would like to ask you a couple of questions. You learned that the crow descended from the dinosaur. Can you find out what other birds and animals descended from the dinosaur? When did dinosaurs live on this earth? and how did they disappear from the earth human beings are said to be descended from monkeys find out more about this 
and write down the relationship between humans and monkeys. Draw a picture of a T-Rex and color it. What are the different foods you think the T-Rex ate? Take a picture of your drawing and do share it with us. Thank you all for listening. We'll be back soon with another story. Bye.